one minute signs. I really just want to cover this question with you because it's really, really easy. It applies to both GCSE and A-level. And reading the examiner's report, something like 60% of students got it wrong. And they got it wrong because of their choice of vocabulary. Let's have a look at the question. It says, explain how downward movement of the diaphragm leads to air entering the lungs. So the downward movement is when it changes from a dome shape to a flattened shape. In other words, the diaphragm, diaphragm contracts and flattens. There's our first mark, okay? From that, we then need to say that if the diaphragm goes down, the volume increases of the thorax, but the pressure inside decreases. So we're going to then say that the, the volume of the thorax increases and the pressure decreases. And then, of course, all we need to say is that air is pulled in. But, of course, we can do better than pulled in. In fact, the reason why most students lost the mark is because they talked about air being sucked into the lungs. We know that air enters the lungs down a pressure gradient. So where did students lose most of their marks? The vocab that they chose. So they used the word volume. What they wrote was that the diaphragm contracts and flattens, that the space in the thorax, we can do better than space, come on, it's volume. So they lost that mark there. Then what they did was they also talked about um, air is sucked into the lungs instead of air enters the lung down a pressure gradient from high to low. It's nothing to do with diffusion. It's a pressure gradient.